Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another comic book review. Now, when we left off with the previous issue, Jim was in a lot of trouble, but he had met a new friend just in time. Now, will this new friend be a blessing or will he wish he never came across this fixer upper? Well, let's get on with my comic book review for Chariot issue number two. As issue two opens, a young man exclaims, the chariot lives. And the person that this man is talking to is gonna be none other than the chariot sister. Now, while this woman is in physical form, she definitely has quite a few health issues. And while this woman might not be in the best of shape, she does have an ace up her sleeve that she's ready to use. Much to the warning that the regeneration process she is doing will cause trauma, but in her eyes, it'll be worth the process. Now, as we catch up with Jim and his new friend, we will learn that her name is Jillian. And while Jim is still trying to get a grasp as to what the heck is going on, Jillian will tell him that since he helped her, now it's her turn to return the favor. Later that night, Jim is gonna make a trip over to his ex's house. As he knows what he's going to tell her is going to come off crazy, but he's just hoping that she'll be open-minded. Now, when Jim goes to show Katie the car, Jim's hopes are that the car will talk to her like Kit, but instead, this car sits there as mute as a mime. After this failed attempt, not only will Sadie go on to believe that Jim is really off his rocker, but it's also going to tick off Jillian as she tells him, at what point did I tell you to tell anyone about me? Now, while Jim will play the tough guy and say he's gonna turn the car into the authorities, that's when Jillian decides it's time for her to leave her mark and establish some ground rules. Now, from here, Jillian takes Jim into the world where she spent the past 40 years. Now, Jillian is very stern when she tells Jim that not only does he need to get his act together, but that she needs a body that she can't spend eternity in this form. Jillian will go on to make a deal with Jim that if he can get her a body, she'll be by his side to help him with all his problems. However, if he slips up and can't keep a secret, she will destroy what little he has. Now, that device that Jillian implanted into Jim, that's gonna allow these two to talk to one another whether Jim is close to the car or not. Later on that evening, while Sadie has gone to talk to the doctor about her son's care, that's when she gets quite the shock when the doctor reveals that Jim had sent in a substantial payment that will cover the cost and then some. But the doctor does warn Sadie that while it's not in their business to explore how the payment came in, but that if it does come up dirty, he will have to report it to the authorities. As Sadie exits the doctor's office, she'll come across Jim, but when all is said and done, his best explanation without blowing the cover of Jillian will be, it came from a friend. Now, before Sadie has the opportunity to try to put the pieces of this puzzle together, that's when this party is crashed by Jillian's sister. And as her two feet hit the floor, her first words to Jim will be, where is the chariot? And with Jillian in his ear, she'll tell him one, get Sadie out of there by sending her down the elevator and two, run past her and jump out the window of the 30th floor. And while a security guard will try to come to the rescue, let's just say this guard is gonna end up losing his helping hand. And with Jim not feeling like taking a 30th floor leap of faith, he'll try and battle it out with the sister, but in the end, he'll only end up embarrassing himself and more importantly, Jillian. And when it comes to Jim taking that leap of faith, in the end, he'll have no say in the matter as the sister decides she'll give him a helping hand. Now, I really did enjoy issue number one of Chariot and I gave it an 8.5. And I feel like here in issue number two, it actually takes it up just a notch. So my final score for issue number two of Chariot is gonna be a nine out of 10. My one critique of issue number one was that it felt short, but here in issue number two of Chariot, writer Brian Edward Hill really has a greatly paced story that hits all its beats. And once again, if you enjoyed the art style in issue number one, well, you're gonna enjoy it here in issue number two as well. Now, what exactly will happen to Jim as he's free falling 30 floors and just what challenges will Jillian's sister present? Well, we're gonna have to wait and see until issue number three of Chariot is released on May 26th. 
All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap up this comic book review for Chariot issue number two. Now, if you've read the first two issues, what are your thoughts? Comment down below. I'm really enjoying this series thus far, and I know it's only a five issue series, but I'm definitely amped up for issue number three. All right, guys, if you like videos like this, make sure you stay tuned in here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it, go now, do it now.